try to research, I get it all into my brain. And I think I've found all the changes to the cars, and I can't explain it in under a minute. Do you know, I'm getting the impression he's cheating here. Do you, do you remember the whole he's, economics He's kind exam? of making the space so he yeah. can get around that he's, he, he's doing the bit where he's chopping his onions and carrots before the countdown clock starts. <laughs> Listen, we'd have got that countdown clock working properly this morning if Rachel Riley was in, but we got a co-presenter instead. So that oh, was the end of the day. do. <laughs> Okay, that wow. <laughs> In that case, that is a challenge. Yes. We are now going to ask our man behind the curtain, our very own Wizard of Oz, but without the smoke machine, to activate the clock. When you next start, Chris will start the clock. Well, the first thing is it says Shaw Pick on here. He's not coming back. Anyway, eight teams have changed their driver lineup. Only two have kept it the same. We don't know who drives the catering, really. Bigger engines. Well, in terms of the capacity, that's why they need bigger side pods, bigger horsepower as well. But it's a 1.6 litre V6 turbo. We get kinetic energy recovery systems and heat energy recovery systems because the heat's all going to come out of the central exhaust and it's going to get recycled and give us 840 brake horsepower. There is no lower beam, there's no blown diffuser, there is a rear wing that has got narrower. There's a front wing that has got narrower as well. Tyres are going to have to change because the increased torque that's going through the gearbox and the gearbox has to last six races. What else have we got? Nose drops down to uh, a lower level because of safety uh, uh, scenarios on that one. Drivers get their own permanent numbers. We get two new races in Russia and also in Austria. We get penalty points that stay on the license for a whole see a whole year and we get oh much more time I can carry on with this one. Uh, we get the prospect of a hundred kilos of fuel to last the race, which means economy is going to be absolutely everything. Oh the cars are going to get heavier so there's absolutely no chance the drivers can have seconds at any mill. Thank you very much. There's a reason why I didn't say that, because I don't like it. No, he didn't. He just no one does. And, right, and this morning we did a straw puff, yeah? And I asked people to put their hands up if they wanted double points at the final race. So, we're going to do it again, and we're going to take the aggregate, and we're going to tell Bernie Eggleston how many people voted for double points. So put your hand up if you want double points at the last race of the season. Hang on. One, two, three, four. This bloke Five, doesn't count because he's holding a camera. Six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Nine of you want double points, which means on the two thing, times we've been up here, on the two occasions we've been up here, nine people want double points because nobody wanted it this morning whatsoever. I don't see why we need a gimmick in Formula One. It's the greatest sport on the planet, quite frankly. I don't know what to see double points. But we've, we've already got dancing girls and Sky Sports F1. Who needs gimmicks? Me and you out the back. <laughs>